Mobile, Alabama. There's that old abandoned school again. It's coming in from the other side. to see here but your old dilapidated businesses downtown Columbia. There's our little museum they're trying to do something with. Columbia, Alabama. businesses There's a car. There's like a little old haunted house. They have Halloween things there. Ever Halloween. Got an old ugly looking old hearse there. Columbia Manor. About the only attraction around here for miles. I guess that, uh, that old place where you have your boat landing, I guess that's the other attraction too, but that's about this and this, this here attraction here and the boat landing there. No dumping. There's a door. There's a barn.
Columbia, Alabama. Band and shirt factory. All gone. Port Authority is what they call it. Industrial Boulevard. There's nothing on Industrial Boulevard. Everything's dead. There's nothing here. Looks like this is a road to nowhere. I guess this is our industrial park. A road to nowhere. I guess it's a road down to the river. It's a road to nowhere. Looks like a dead end. It's a, it's a road to nowhere. There's a cell tower. Thing is with them cell tower. You see them things like McDonald's, well, you see them things everywhere. It's that old factory, and you know, so there's nothing there. Columbia, Alabama, pretty much dead. Yes, it's up here. Well, there's the historical marker, that old building right there, Good Hope Lane. That's about it for Columbia. They gotta fix that building right there before it falls in. I doubt I come back here next year to look the same.
Okay. I figure I'm gonna check this other little area around here, just past this river here, and I'm gonna turn in here into to the uh, check the boat landing out here in Columbia. I've never been down this way. I turn on this side road right here, so I'm coming on down this side road right here. And I'm gonna turn right here and go down here and check this boat landing out. There ain't very many tourist attractions around uh, Columbia, so I'm gonna go down here and check this boat landing out right here. Nose Street, I believe. Okay. We'll go down here. Never been down here before. Check it out. See what's down here. I think there's a little fishing area down here. fast. River Road. Columbia, Alabama. Actually, this I guess River Road, I guess it's River Street, really, because River Road I always thought was Highway 95. So I, I don't know. River Street, River Road, whatever you want to call it. River Road, River Street. place to go fishing garbage cans all righty well I'm gonna head back on out of here in a little bit after I get out here and walk around a little bit okay I'm at the Columbia area boat ramp picnicking area. Never been here before. Lived here for 40 years. I ain't never been here. Right off the Chattahoochee River. I figure, well, this is all 52. Drive down a little area right next to the river. I ain't never been here before. I figure I'd drive down here and see what it is. So I found something I ain't never I even knew was here. So, uh, I figure I'll make up some pictures of the area. Columbia area boat ramp picnicking district. Visitors welcome. Chattahoochee River. That's a nice little drop off right there.
Chattahoochee River just right off Highway 52, Columbia, Alabama. Riding on the dang boat. There's some alligators out here too. Another drop off. You don't want to fall down in there. Chatty Hoochie River. Y'all take care. Uh-huh. I guess you can go swimming down here. If you do it at your own risk, you might get bit by an alligator. I bet there's some alligators over there somewhere. Well, there's a Chattahoochee River over there. This looks like this is a little old creek. Running way off here behind Columbia. Wonder what that is right there. I can't hardly see because of the sun. Let's see what that is over there. Ain't nothing. I think it's no. I think it's a coke can or something. I see a boat coming this here way. That's one thing I don't want is no boat. Too much trouble. You going out there fishing. I don't mind going out there fishing. You can you catch anything out here or not. One of the days I guess I'll come down here and go fishing, see if I can catch anything. Another drop off. Look at that. I got to fix them shoes still. Walk around, he ain't paying attention. He might just walk right off in there. Well, that's about it. This little area of Columbia, I didn't know existed. I figured, well, I just pull off 52 and see what's there. Well, little boat ramp area. Southern nuclear. Southern nuclear, about four miles up the river. 
just south of here. Pretty good place to work. All done with them. Semi-retired, I'm through with them. But that's about it for now. I'll be back later. There's some fishing poles growing there. I guess you get desperate and want to go fishing, just grab you a fishing pole and cut it and get you some fishing line and get you a hook, put it on there and go out there and find you a worm and go fishing. Shady area here. Nice little drop off there. Headed back to fifty two. That's under 52, going to Georgia. Another speed bump. little attraction since that's the only attractions they have in Columbia, Alabama. So I figured, well, I'd ride down here and see what's down here. More baseball areas. Okay, before I go back up on this main road, I'm going to make a left right here and see what's down this way. Go back down this way here. 
See what's down this road, back down this here way. Never been down here before, so I figured I'd ride down here and see what's down this here way. There's that old ballpark that they don't use anymore. Alrighty. See what's down this way. It's like a bunch of weeds down here. No railroad crossing. There's an old swampy looking place right back up in there, old swamp. See what we got it back up in. I ain't never been back up this way before. There's no old nasty looking old pond. Looks like a bunch of old sludge water or something back up in there. An old railroad crossing here. Better stop. Train might run out in front of me. I don't think there's no trains out on this thing. See, look at that. That old weed, that old wind fell across that thing. That thing been like that for a long time. There ain't no trains run up on this thing. I'm going up this hill right here. See what's up here. Going on up the road here. Okay. Heading back on up this way. like a bunch it's like a church yeah there's a dead end road back down that way looks like it looks like a olive missionary baptist church okay bunch of trailers back up in this way looks like this is i guess that's that gas station that was up on the main road i didn't even know it come back up this way well, you learn something new every day. So that's the main road right there. That's that Liberty gas station there. I guess this goes back toward the town. So I'm gonna ride down here. Yeah, why not? Yeah. There's a couple of dogs. Hello, dog. There's a truck. There's a couple trucks. Davis Street. There's a trailer. Green Drive. There's the back side of Columbia. There's 52 over there. There's the old bank. There used to be an old Dollar General there. We're on North Street. There's another part of Columbia you don't get to see very much. Looks like an old peanut mill. There's the Columbia water tower there again. Here we come back up to Main Street. I want to make a U-turn and turn right back around, go back out around the other way. All right, we're back on Main Street. All right, there ain't nobody around here. I'm just gonna make me a U-turn right here. Head on back this other way. Go right back the same way. North Street. Head right back this same way. Green Street. There's a tree. Okay, Davis Street. It's part of the club you don't get to see very much. I'm gonna back up and go down this road here. See what's down this here way. Ride down here. See what's down this way. There's probably a bunch of woods down this here way. There's a hole. There's another hole. There's a truck. There's a pile of garbage.
There's a bunch of cut zoo weeds growing there. Yeah, this just rides back around this other way. Probably that old dead end road looks like a dead end road. Probably runs right into that. Part of the climb you don't get to see. There's an old house. Yes, sir. Coming back on down this way, I guess, back down there. There's that church again. I seen a while ago. There's a stop sign. I'm gonna make a right. I'm turning back down this here way. There we go. There's that old railroad track again. Alrighty. I guess they used used to years ago used to be a bunch of houses down here, but the river used to flood out all the time, so they did away with all them houses back in here. There's that old tree that fell over again. There's a $500 fine sign right there, no dumping. Look at that mess out in there. All righty. There's that old creek. Okay, yep, we're running back out this way. What I'm gonna do, let's see here. There's another old ball field out that way. I'm just gonna make the circle right here and go around right here to this yield sign. Yes, sir. Turn back to the left. And I'm gonna head on out of here. Head on up the hill here. But I didn't know you could access the main road from town coming back down this way. So I guess that you ain't gotta just come down this way. I guess you can go up and go around that back way too. So I'm gonna go ahead and get on up out of here. Now we headed to Georgia. Headed to Georgia to go get some lottery tickets. Well, if you want to go fishing, go try your luck. Drive down that hill down there. There's a place we can go fishing down there off that little ramp area. Georgia. Unincorporated. They got a good place to eat here down there. It's called the Log Cabin. Make a ride down here and go to the Log Cabin. They got some good food down there. Hit this store right here, this liquor store. This is the only store in Hilton, Georgia. Lively Hilton, Georgia. That's, that's, about, that's about the liveliest place in Hilton, Georgia right here. Where everybody can get them some lottery tickets. Don't let that sign deceive you. This place ain't open 24 hours. Yeah, they got a good restaurant down the road called a log cabin. Just keep on going down that road. They got some good food. They open on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, I believe. Well, I think I'm gonna go in and get me some lottery tickets. That's it for now. Bye. Columbia, Alabama. There ain't much to it, really. That's one thing Alabama's famous for, red lights and bumpy roads. Bump, bump, bump. Red lights and bumpy roads. 
Sweet Home, Alabama. Now, Leonard Skinner ain't from Alabama. He's from Jacksonville. But Alabama claims it. Sweet Home, Alabama. Coming into Columbia. There's a marathon. There's an ice place. There's a Piglet Wiggly. There's a picture of Piglet Wiggly. A dozen dead ahead, Abbeville to the right. We in the big town of Columbia, Alabama, and I figured we'd hit this red light just dead on. Because we always hit a red light and there ain't nobody but ghosts waiting here. Do you see anybody waiting? Nope. But we gotta wait on the red light because that's the way the country towns are. Look at this big old town of Columbia, Alabama. Nearby gone. Okay, now we got a green light. Schoolhouse ahead. Valcro or someplace, I don't know what that is. There's, a, there's Columbia Schoolhouse right there. 52. Well, that's it for Columbia, Alabama. Ain't much here. There's a Dollar General. You see them everywhere. I'm going to slow down. Might be a cop up here. Columbia, Alabama. Big town of Columbia, Alabama. There's an old abandoned school. We coming up to another raggedy railroad track. I don't know why they don't maintain these roads. You gotta come to a complete stop up here. Look at that track. Look how crapped up that track is right there. They can do something about these tracks. You gotta come to a stop because you might have a flat tire going across this stuff. There's an old RV park. Well, we coming out of Columbia, Alabama. Coming across this creek here. Highway 22 to the right, going back toward head to Edmund. Farley Nuclear Plant to the left, coming up on Highway 95. Well, that's it for Columbia, Alabama. Retire with us. That's it. Okay, that's it for Columbia. So, well, I guess the only tourist attraction that is in Columbia, I guess you can call it, call it a tourist attraction. There's like four places you can go. But if you get bored, I guess you can go walk out to the river and look around, go fishing if you got a boat. If you're even more bored, or I guess you can go down to the, uh, go down to the fishing, uh, where you drop your boat off down there to the, um, uh, boat landing out there off that road there where you turn off 52 there right there before you cross the river. Just go down there if you get bored and go down there. I guess you might be able to go down there and go swimming but you got but you might have to watch out for the alligators. If you're even bored or that I guess you can go down there and go fishing down there too. They ain't got very many places to go fishing but I guess you can go throw a fishing pole down in there. So there's two places there. You got the, you got, like I say you got the river 
There's an old place I used to go eat a long time ago, a place called Mario's. So I guess you can go down to the river and go fishing, or you can go down to the boat landing. Well, there's, there's two more places you can go. You can go down to the haunted house. It's closed all year round. The only time it's open is in October. So it might be open around Halloween time. So it might start opening about toward the end of September. They might have a few tours around and I don't know if it's still open or not. It's been a long time since I've been down that way. So they, you can check and get on the internet or something like that and look up Columbia, Alabama. Or you check. It, it might be open. You, they might have some haunted house tours down there at that place. So that, I guess you can call that attraction too. And the, other, and the other place they got, they got another place. They got a little museum down there. They got a lot of artifacts and stuff like that down there. They're pretty good. So a lot of history down there in Columbia. So there's four places you can go. You got, the, like I say, you can go down to the river. You, know, you got the river and you got, the, you got the boat landing down there. And you got the um, haunted house in October. And, uh, like I say, you got that little museum there. You know, so there's a few little things you can do in Columbia, Alabama. So, well, that's about it for now. Next time I'm gonna go, might go down to Gordon and check Gordon, Alabama out. But uh, I'm gonna start taking a few videos of little small towns in the area, Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. That's it for now. Talk to you later. See you later, bye-bye.